All right, we got uh, Victoria versus Vegeta. You know what I'm saying? Death battle fight. You know what I'm saying? I do all types of anime reactions, Dragon Ball Z reactions. You know what I'm saying? Just all types of content in general, diverse content on this channel, bro. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? 100 likes or 50 likes. Matter of fact, we'll go for 100. Fuck it. 100 likes. I could do another death battle. You just leave it in the comment section below. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the channel. Check out the channel. I got all types of stuff on there, bro. I'm pretty sure you'll find something that you'll enjoy. You know what I'm saying? You'll, you'll find something that you'll like about my goofy ass personality, man. I appreciate y'all for watching. Let's get into this. <laughs> also, we be watching this live on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Raw So come on here. Hit the follow button, you know what I'm saying? Every weekend, I be live for like 48 hours straight. No cap. Um, death battle? That's -E Why would you spoil me, Phoenix? Why would you spoil me, Phoenix? Why would you spoil me like that, Phoenix? Like, what's, why would you do that, bro? <laughs> all right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibility. It's time for a death battle! I actually don't know who would actually win, though. I mean, you know what? Thor, Thor does make sense if he won, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. That nigga's... Marvel is crazy. You know. And and the way Akira just wrote Vegeta, he's like a walking L. Which is tough, because I'm a Vegeta friend. Oh, there, mighty warrior. What business have us thou upon Earth? Throw that hammer at me again, and my business will be polishing my gloves upon your face! Is this Team 4 Star? Is this Team 4 Star? Cause this is a good ass Vegeta voice. Is this Team 4 Star? <clears throat> it's that count. I like both of these uh characters though. I love Thor and Vegeta. Okay, good punch. Fuck Thor. Damn. I hate when they do those beams, bro. I know damn well Thor would not be hurt by that shit. Now that I know that hurts. Damn. He not holding his arm? That's not a real Vegeta. Oh shit, Thor getting serious. He got Millionaire and Stormbreaker. Okay, Vegeta. We need the new Vegeta though. We need the purple hair Vegeta now. They gotta do manga Vegeta. Okay. Okay, is he actually gonna show the, the there you go. Come on, piece him up. Good knees, good knees, hold on. Wait, hold on. Bitch, bitch. Ooh, okay, good combo. Damn, good knee. Damn, I ain't gonna lie, there's even combo in his ass. What the fuck is that? What is this? I ain't never seen Vegeta do this. Oh yeah, nah, it's, it's over with. Is he sucking it in? Ooh, you better watch out for that, Vegeta. Okay. No. Oh shit. Wow, he's not strong enough to hold that motherfucker. I mean, it makes sense. It's Thor. Can't nobody hold his hammer except for, like, Captain America, I guess. Wait a minute. Which Vegeta is this? Is it the new Vegeta? Is this purple Vegeta Ultra Ego? The head of the spider. And you are the legs. My orders are priority. Never forget that. What's key is survival of the whole. Savage, I appreciate the three months, but why the fuck did you have to spam the horny emoji, though? Why did you have to spam the horny emoji? Who is this? I ain't gonna lie. Tracy tweaking. Tracy tweaking. What, what what you doing watching Tracy, bro? She like a cam girl on Twitch or something? Nah, niggas say W a mo. Y'all niggas be horny, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, Savage. The more the more I get to know you, bro, I think you sexually down bad. <laughs> and that's crazy. Cause you actually, you know what I'm saying? You a good looking guy. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a good fucking guy right there. Savage, that's a good fucking guy. But I think you sexually horny though. Like I think you just like a horny mammal. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay. You know what I'm saying? I just judged you, but I'm not gonna judge you, even though I judge you. He just take that to the chest? He, is he eating a bitch? Such as yourself, feel fear. Oh shit, I forgot they're both gods. Holy shit, and they're princes too, yeah. Yo, Vegeta is comboing his ass. Is that a Hakai? Like a Hakai blast? What, wait, what the fuck? Oh my God. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That thing that he just did, didn't didn't that didn't that happen to somebody like didn't he do that to Goku? Didn't he do that to Goku when he uh he nailed him to the wall or something like that? Damn, I'm not gonna lie, Vegeta going crazy. Wow. Uh oh my Jesus, Vegeta! Oh my god. I feel like Thor is eating this though. 
Oh my god, what is this? What is this form? What is this form? I've never seen this before. What the fuck? Oh my god. Now he just skipped Rock Vegeta. <laughs> No, this is crazy. Oh. Oh, wait, did Vegeta win? It's no way Vegeta won. Ultra Ego Vegeta won? I was about to say it's no way he won. Damn, Thor? Oh my God. This is an amazing fight. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably their best fight to me. Oh my god. Oh, he's. Ah! That is crazy! Oh, shit! What the fuck? Oh my god! Nah. That's one of the craziest deaths. I love it, though. No, that's crazy. Hey, but you know what? It's a win-win situation for me because I love Vegeta and I love Thor. You know what I'm saying? Those are two of my favorite Marvel uh, characters. You know what I'm saying? Deadpool being my number one favorite. But, yeah. Love Thor. You know what I'm saying? A lot of love him. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Shout out to him. Let's hear this. Let's hear why. I'm not going to lie, Savage. You a whole-ass nigga for saying that. Talking about some Vegeta needed his plot armor to kick in. His only plot armor is fucking losing. His plot armor is losing. You ain't have to say that, bro. You ain't have to bring that up. Power and tenacity. The God of Thunder had him Iron Man made Thor. First up, the big one, who was stronger. Just yeah, they did Vegeta dirty. The God of Strength. Vegeta actually matched up pretty closely with Thor. Both could right. have the power far in excess of destroying a single universe. Clearly. It's tough to get an exact number for Dragon Ball Makes Super's sense. most powerful characters. Right. But we can combine the size of Universe 7 with multipliers from Vegeta's transformations to get a rough estimate. It's he can't even win in the alternate universe. Power boost has never been stated. But we do know that Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta were roughly even in power. Yeah. When Goku applied a Kaioken times 20 boost to fight Jiren, Vegeta kept up after going blue evolve. Blue evolve. Wow. Increases in power are roughly I'm I'm sorry. I, I don't care what nobody says. This form looks amazing, but I love I love all of Vegeta's forms way more than I think I love Goku's. And Goku's forms are nice, but I just I don't know. Like every like I don't know. Vegeta's just sound cooler, bro. Like like Super Saiyan, what is it? Super Saiyan God evolved. I don't know. It's just so simpler. And it sounds cooler, like beyond ultra ego. Like it just sounds so much cooler in my in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, what was it? Super Saiyan God times or Super Saiyan God Kaioken? Like that's cool and all, but like SSB evolution. Yeah, it's just it's his sound way better to me because I think it just sounds so simplistic. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what I really like about it. The same increase. Similarly, Blue Vegeta matched base top. And okay. Blue evolved the Damn. With top's God of Destruction form, which right. Which is extremely similar to Ultra Ego in the right. man purpose. Figured he was. Given this is the best I love Ultra Ego. example of a measurable form akin to Ultra Ego, we can assume that Ultra Ego's boost in power, at least initially, could be extremely similar in terms of a percentage increase, making Ultra Ego's original state about 20 times more powerful than Blue Evolve. With that in mind, mm. Vegeta at his peak could destroy a universe roughly 260,000 times over. That's and crazy. Thor was pretty close to that. Taking a look at the I know within like side. destroying these universes, other universes have to be made just by how much power he's using, bro. If Goku is using power to destroy, I guess like he's so strong so that he can make a whole another universe. I know Vegeta has to have that same amount of strength. Like that's crazy. Imagine if these people were real, bro. Like imagine if they were real, bro. They could literally wipe out our existence and make a new earth. Like, that's how strong they are. Like, that's fucking crazy. The fact that, like, they're technically fucking gods even without having to be a, be a god. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Zeno is god. But you could damn near call Goku a god because didn't he fucking make a universe? When he did, like, some type of Kamehameha or some shit or something like that? I, I don't know. I'm not that well-versed in, you know what I'm saying? Dragon Ball Z, but like it's like that's just how I view it. 
which has a radius of at least a trillion light years. Nigga said, "Why be gonna stop that?" Thor ended up only about ten times stronger. Not terribly different, and it's definitely possible Vegeta's power could increase during the fight to match it. But even if he was stronger, it wasn't the only thing that mattered. Ultra Ego's damage absorption could only do so much. They can do damage absorption. Like Thor. Vegeta may have trained as a warrior from birth. But Thor has been fighting for millennia against yeah. a much wider variety of foes, yeah. allowing him to adapt mm -hmm. to Vegeta fairly easily. And right, the fact that, that makes Thor sense. Was way faster, gave him a lot of leeway to use that extra combat experience. And Thor been fighting Vegeta's for a millennia. Vegeta's transformation multipliers to the shockwaves from Goku and Beerus' punches. Vegeta should be able to fight at nearly 300 quintillion times the speed of light. But oh, wow. to Ares moving within black time. Thor would be over 70 quadrillion times faster. Now that's Thor crazy. Fast enough to avoid Vegeta's key attacks, and yeah. even more importantly. Absorb all of them with Mjolnir. That's what I was thinking. Did he absorb that shit? All of Vegeta's ranged attacks. But but see, my thing is this: I always think that them shooting beams, them little light beams, are like so useless and pointless. Like they really should stop doing that, bro. Like because it's so useless and pointless. Because I know that shit does not do no fucking type of damage. Like you're just wasting energy at that point. You know what I'm saying? Like it looks cool when you do a combo, but like in all actuality, it's stupid as fuck to me. Just in my opinion. Spirit vision. But he'd have to hit Thor first. Damn. And with that much of a speed oh my God. that's easier said You make this nigga spit out an egg or a bean. just will the energy out of somebody, what? just take it right back. And that's that's crazy. So, Thor is crazy. He can will the energy out of you. are not infinite, and many of his battles have ended with him at low energy. He was exhausted by the end of the Tournament of Power. Which nah, nah, for real though, why didn't Vegeta hold his arm not once in his fight? Like this, this, this fight isn't real. <laughs> this is a fake fight. This, this can't be true. None of this can be true because Vegeta didn't hold his arm not one time. Clearly, Thor was not hitting hard enough because you hit Vegeta. You know Vegeta. That nigga's a sponge cake, nigga. You tap that nigga one time, he ah oh, my arm. <laughs> Swear to God, this this fight ain't that real, nigga. <laughs> Vegeta ain't holding his arm. He ain't he. Nah, but Thor ain't hit him hard enough. Clearly. An hour in total. Meanwhile, Thor fought an army for over a month. What? Vegeta could have ended the fight immediately with Hakai, if not for the fact that Thor has resisted existence erasure before, what? including physically, spiritually, and temporally. What the Vegeta fuck? Had no way to match nah, the Thor is crazy. Which could have killed friggin' Galactus, and that guy has threatened the infinite multiverse with destruction just as a side effect of his battles. Wow. That's a level of power beyond anything we've seen in Dragon Ball yet, let alone Vegeta. Vegeta was never going to go down easy, but Thor's raw power, speed, and devastating oh godly God. abilities were too much. Damn, why y'all got that on the back screen insane. monitor, bro? Y'all ain't Vegeta have to show that twice like that. Until Thor blew his mind. You might say ha. that pun was a kind of terrible. Huh? You don't do puns! We've talked about this! Oh, it wasn't that bad, though. That wasn't a bad pun. The winner is Thor. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it, man. I ain't mad at it. I mean, it is what it is, you know. I know you're saying these these aren't really that accurate, but I mean, not to me, it makes sense, you know. Like Thor is, he's niggas a god among gods. <laughs> Clearly, he's a god among gods, man. If you enjoy, oh, oh, I know what I wanted to say. Y'all say Edie then like Ultra Ego. I like Ultra Ego for the fact that I think it fits Vegeta perfectly. I mean, like the most egotistical maniac son of a bitch saying out there you know what i'm saying like i think it fits him perfectly i don't know what's the reason to why he did, doesn't like ultra ego but i'm pretty sure he has some crazy ass diabolical reason but I, I i love the name ultra ego and i think the 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 color um fits vegeta perfectly pur purple you know i think like when i just seen that and again like i i don't read dragon ball super or dragon ball z none of that but when i seen that ultra ego thing and i heard the name i'm just like damn it's like this actually like fits so perfectly bruh you know so that's why i fuck with it. i think it just fits vegeta perfectly you know in my opinion but if you enjoyed this video you know what i'm saying consider subscribing dropping a like you know what i'm saying if you enjoyed this video or this reaction you know what i'm saying leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below um if you're a nerd i guess fill me in on some things that uh that i don't know about thor and vegeta you know and uh check out the channel i got all types of reactions and um you know just content you know, on the channel, just, 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 uh, diverse content on the channel, that's the word I'm looking for, I'm pretty sure you'll find something you'll enjoy, I appreciate y'all for watching, until the next video, um, and if you wanna, any more death battle reactions, leave me in the comment section below.